Okay, we'll talk about lowering a one-person load now. So for more complex systems like uh, twin rope systems, rescue systems, uh, or two-person loads, then that's going to be in the advanced class, uh, including uh, more complex edge transitions. The other thing we're not covering here is anchoring. Anchoring is a whole other topic we're not going to discuss. And the same with uh, just the connection to the casualty. In this circumstance, I've got a one kilonewton uh, test mass that's connected to the end of the load, and we're not even going to show an edge transition. If you're uh, lowering a, a person, they're going to be doing that edge transition, and we'll just talk about uh, that um, when we get to it. So if you just want to zoom in on here, so the way that the system is rigged is uh, the QD is rigged exactly the same as it would be for a rappel. The only difference is instead of the end of the rope being at the anchor and the QD being on the person, this time it's, it's switched. The QD is at the anchor and the end of the rope is at the person. So now all the control for the descent is static at the anchor instead of controlled by uh, the person uh, descending down. Uh, down the rope. Uh, the QD orientation, you want the, the handle to either be up or off to the, the side where uh, it's going to be in the position of function. You want to make sure that this rope isn't uh, twisting around. And uh, everything else is, is very similar. It's just going to be a, um, uh, a palm in the, the handle, grab the carabiner, and then brake hand on. Now, whenever uh, the load, the person is doing their edge transition, the same as with the rappel, you want to have that brake hand on the rope because for whatever reason, if there's any slack in the system or if they, are, um, if they slip and fall during that and they, they create a dynamic force application on the system, we want to make sure the brake hand is on. There is a, 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 a small potential for it to inertially slide if the brake hand isn't on, but if that brake hand's on, then the, it will uh, stop any uh, inertial slide. So brake hand on, and then uh, to actually do the lower, it's no different. And you can move this. You, you see how the, the sling on this anchor uh, is flexible. So I'm just going to move it so that it's up, even though the natural orientation is to the side. It's not affecting anything. And then I'm just going to squeeze, again, put on the brake, pardon me, press on the gas, and then release the clutch. And you can slowly lower that down, the load down. If you need to stop for whatever reason, just stop. You can let go of the system. That's not an issue as long as there's no slack. As long as there's tension on that, you can let go. And then we'll lower them all the way. Now, here's the deal. Even if they, they don't make it to the bottom and you need to raise them back up, or if for whatever reason you're starting at the bottom and you need to do a raise, we'll transition into a, a raise or a haul right away. We'll get that load a little bit lower first. So lower them under control. Okay, test mass is a couple meters above the ground now, so we'll stop there and we're gonna transition into a, a raise or a hull. So the first thing that we're gonna do there is basically uh, the exact same thing as uh, for ascending the rope is we're gonna put the QA on the rope and we're gonna do it in the exact same way. We open that up, think of uh, the shelf. The shelf is the flat part goes towards the load. We're going to take that brake hand rope, put it on the shiv, and then we're going to close it. Push that all the way. And then we can do a test haul. Hopefully that's enough. Now, just like any mechanical advantage system, you want to use the lowest mechanical advantage possible. And so if you can go away, get away with a three to one, remember this is a, uh, an ideal three to one. Uh, in actuality, because of the, the added friction in the device, um, it's, uh, the actual is about a two to one. So you're pulling in for every meter that you, uh, sorry, for every three meters you pull in, you're raising the load one meter, um, but you're actually lifting half uh, in this circumstance just because of the, the friction in the system. So you can give that a, a test pull. If you have more than one person, then get more than one person on there. That's too heavy for uh, for just myself, so I need to add additional mechanical advantage. Just because it's a, a 215 pound uh, load on there, the three to one won't take it with the friction over the edge. And this is the same thing, guys, with regards to uh, edge protection and edge friction. All, all standard uh, edge protection applies. Um, and again, we're not getting into that in, in here. That's, uh, that's um, beyond the scope of this class. 
So to add mechanical advantage, what we're going to do is we're going to create initially a dead leg. And that dead leg, you can secure it here, or you can secure it uh, to the back of the anchor point. Doesn't really matter, it just needs to be somewhere behind. But before we create the dead leg, we want the most efficient throw every time. So we're going to push this QA as far forward as we possibly can. So we're going to go all the way there. And then the dead leg, we're going to secure to the carabiner with a clove hitch. And it can be a non-locker, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we've got our dead leg here. So we've got a three to one with a dead leg and then we're gonna put another three to one on that dead leg. So the dead leg acts like the anchor. We'll put that up here. See, it's coming out of the shiv. And then grab the other side of the dead leg. Put it in there and close it. And so, I don't know, if you can zoom in on that, uh, and that's the configuration we're looking for, where this, this is the dead leg, this part right here is gonna be go, go dead. And so we'll attempt the haul with that now. And again, if you got more than one person, then definitely get more than one person hauling. And so this is definitely manageable. When we get chock-a-block here, then we're gonna let the stretch out of the system. This is how you reset. You take the, the first one, the top one, and push it up high first, and then hold that dead leg and push the other one up. And then that's a reset and you can haul again. Now, there's one more means. So now we're at a six to one. This is your six to one uh, mechanical advantage because you've got a three acting on a three. So you add the two. Again, push that up, the top one first, then the second one. To increase the mechanical advantage, one more to go up to a nine to one, we grab our Prodigy pulley. And all we need to do is replace the clove hitch with the Prodigy pulley. It can be any pulley. Prodigy's the best for the circumstance, nice and small. Okay, grab the hull line, take any slack that's out of the system, and then go for your hull. That's your nine to one right there, and that's much easier. Just remember now, I'm hauling nine meters for, for every one meter he's getting raised. But the ease of lifting is significantly better. Again, when the reset, reset the top one first, pardon me, top one first, then the bottom one. Continue the haul. Until you get them to the top. And then, so you can continue that until he's up. And then the other uh, thing is just to transition from the hull back to the lower. And that's pretty simple. It's just dismantling the, the system. Take everything off, except the QD, obviously. Take the two QAs and the Prodigy off. And you can lower your load under control.